I didn't know I was coming to a pep rally. <laughs> Now, while today is certainly not about me or my person, I think I can confidently say that I'm most likely the happiest person in this building. <laughs> it was today at 12 noon Rome time, an early five o'clock in San Antonio, that the Vatican announced the that the Holy Father, Pope Benedict XVI, had appointed Bishop Gustavo Garcia Sierra, up until now, Auxiliary Bishop of Chicago, the new Archbishop of San Antonio. Archbishop designate Garcia Sierra is 53 years old and has been a bishop for seven years. He was born in San Luis Potosí. As a young man, he joined the religious order the missionaries of the Holy Spirit, and in 1984 was ordained a priest in Guadalajara, Mexico. As a priest, he was involved in seminary formation work, teaching and instructing seminarians, as well as in parish ministry. He carried out his ministry in Mexico, <coughs> California, and in the state of Oregon. From 1999 to 2003, he served as the major superior for his religious community. And in January of 2003, he had been elected the provincial superior for his community in the United States. His work in this last post, however, was rather short-lived because two months later, he would be appointed by the Holy Father to serve in Chicago as auxiliary bishop. I met Archbishop Designate Garcia Sierra two and a half years ago when I, as a newly ordained bishop, attended my first National Bishops Conference. It was there that a group of young auxiliary bishops invited me for dinner. And it was then that a delightful and wonderful friendship would begin. I grew to respect and think highly of the young wise and thoughtful bishop from Chicago. <clears throat> and so when the papal nuncio called to inform me that he would be our new archbishop, I literally jumped out of my chair, <laughs> made my best Spurs-like fist pump, <laughs> yes. <laughs> And that was not just because I would be unloading a pile of work from my desk. <laughs> Although that does not make me unhappy. <laughs> I'm delighted that the Holy Father sends us a shepherd who knows deeply the Good Shepherd. One who is passionate about his love for Jesus Christ, about his love for the church, and about his love for the sheep. He is a shepherd who will quickly come to love the people of San Antonio. He will pray for us daily. And so it is with no further ado that I present to you the sixth Archbishop of San Antonio, Archbishop Designate Gustavo Garcia Silla. church and for all the outreach that to the church uh, goes all over 
to different situations and places and people, faces. I thank God and the Holy Father Benedict XVI for appointing me the sixth Archbishop of San Antonio. I am also grateful to the Apostolic Nuncio, Pietro Sambi, for his encouragement and guidance. I am thankful for the legacy of faith of the many bishops and the people of the Archdiocese of San Antonio. I particularly honor Archbishop Flores, who I had the opportunity to meet a few times in Los Angeles many years ago. My predecessor and friend, Archbishop Gomez, now is leading the largest Catholic Church in the United States. I thank Bishop Oscar Cantu for sustaining the life of the Archdiocese with good and consistent leadership. And I am blessed by his support as a brother, friend, and collaborator in ministry. I received the news about my appointment from Cardinal Francis George, Archbishop of Chicago. He invited me to his chapel, and in the context of prayer, he voiced the will of the Holy Father. I felt the weight of the responsibility, but also the joy and peace that immediately fostered in me a desire to serve and say, yes, here I am. It is the mission of Jesus, and I embrace it. Since that day, my joy has increased, and I am delighted to serve the Lord in you, the people of the Archdiocese of San Antonio. I was born, and it was said, in San Luis Potosí, Mexico. It's the capital uh, of over a million people in the central part of the country. I come from a large middle-class family my parents, 15 children, and 25 nieces and nephews. And I joined the Missionaries of the Holy Spirit in 1973, and ordained priest in 1984. Since then, I was sent to, to this country and happily became a U.S. citizen. I have been blessed through the years to work in parish ministry in diocese in California and Oregon. And I was just recalling uh, the three winters that I spent in Alaska, working in Anchorage and Kodiak Island to minister to the people of that part of our world, our brothers and sisters. I have been also blessed to work, uh, as I say, in different dioceses, California, Oregon, and given missions in many other states in, the, in our country and also in Canada. I enjoy particularly my ministry in the parishes and supporting grassroots actions and movements where something takes place in a very unique way for the sake of all. I have had the privilege to minister um, also in Mexico when I was there and I have been occasionally going uh, uh, to Mexico to, to serve when it's possible. Pope John Paul II appointed me auxiliary bishop to the large and multicultural archdiocese of Chicago in 2003. I have many, many, many friends there. And I have a profound gratitude to the Church of Chicago. People of San Antonio, you have 300 years of faith history, and I am here to serve you. I pray that I will be useful to you as you strive to live your faith in years to come. May we grow together in holiness, and may collaboration be the hallmark of our work. We are priests, deacons, 
persons of consecrated life, men, women, laity, all building a church of communion. To some degree, I do understand your needs, and I will grow in awareness of your challenges. But I want to know more about you. I need, I want, and I long to know more about you, my new archdiocese. And above all, I want to love you. May we live our faith at all times and circumstances, and especially with those in, that, in dire need. There is always somebody who is in a dire need of ourselves. I look forward to getting to know the brother community as well. I would like to know its leaders and pledge my support to work with you leaders of San Antonio in all what refers to the quality of life and the common good of all people. I am also looking forward to relaxation and entertainment <laughs> in my new home in your midst. I hope to be invited to some of the Spurs games. <laughs> I might become a Spurs fan myself. <laughs> and what about the weather? Coming from Chicago, I got a big break. <laughs> and it is like I won the lottery. <laughs> Thank you, and God bless you.